So this video is showing you something different about slope that we may have not seen before. You may have remembered it from someplace else, but this is a little bit new for a lot of us. So we've seen these equations before. Y equals mx plus b. In this case, m is 2 and b is 1. And we know that m is also called slope. Excuse my sloppy writing. Okay. So our slope is 2, right? 2, 2. Slope is 2. That's our m. Now, a slope is something that tells us how fast, right? It's the movement, how fast the line is moving. Another way we could write this, and this can be with any number that's not a fraction, you can write it as the number over 1. And the reason you, we would want to write it this way is because when we talk about slope, you'll hear a lot of people say something called rise over run. And this is true for any slope. The top number tells us how much we go up or down. And the bottom number tells us how far to the left or to the right. So rise is up or down, and run is left or right. So if I were to graph this, rise, how far up, run, how far over. Well, if we're going up and over, we have to start someplace. Just like if you were going to walk to your friend's house, and your friend lived a block up the street, and then you had to take a left and go two blocks to the left, well, if you're going to go up a block and two to the left, you have to start from a place. And you might start from your house or wherever you're at. So the starting number is right here, right? This is where we begin because it's our B. Whoa. Let's try that B again. <laughs> That's funny. B again. B again. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes. B again. So it's where we start, right? And the new thing we called it was our Y intercept, where we cross the Y axis. And this is something you've talked about in earlier lessons. So you should be familiar with Y intercept. That was, I think, the last lesson or one before this or two before this. Okay. So this one will start at the y-intercept. Here's my y of 1. And it's going to go up 2. So I'll make this a nice big dot at the y-intercept of 1. And it will go up to 1, 2, right? So this is 1, 2. So this is the rise. and the run of 1. Run of 1. OK, look it. We ended up at an intersection. Just like you would end up at a house, we ended up here. So a rise and a run gets you to the point of 1, 3. And that can be done with any slope. You start. You go up or down, and then you always go a run to the left or to the right. And every I'll always ask you to go to the right. Okay? So, let's try one more, and then you can get on with it unless you feel comfortable that you can move on. I'm going to do a negative one. So, y equals... Uh, negative 3 x plus 2. OK. Sorry. My picture disappeared. I have to get my graph back. There's my graph. Hello, graph. 
Okay. So we start at two. We start at two right here on the y intercept, right? That's where I start. And my slope, my slope, I think it might be easier to do this. is negative three. So that means I can rewrite that to any whole number. If it's not a fraction already, you can write it as negative three over one. That means my rise is negative three. One, two, three. But Mr. Mosem, you said it was a rise. Yeah, I know, but if it's a negative, you go down, so get over it. So this is rise, negative three. And then my run is still positive one, so you'd go to the right one. And we ended up at a point right here. So your point is negative one, neg negative one. Okay, that's how slope works. Pretty cool. Go to the next video.